few things that rate pretty highly when it comes to a parent's worst nightmare and a crying child on a very long plane trip would have to be one of them. So when one young mum offered a solution to the host, to, to the hosts on Shark Tank, she had one shark circling. I think together, I reckon we could make a real business of this. You said 50, not 15. Five O. Oh. So, Emma, you came in looking for 50,000 for 10 percent. You've just had an offer of 100,000 for 50 percent. Yes. Are you thinking about that? Come on. My husband's up there watching it, and I know he's going, no deal. I was with Emma's husband <laughs> when that pitch was going down. She is the brainchild behind a product called the Fly Baby. Please welcome Emma Lavelle to Stick. Right. Um, Emma, you, you did get a deal. I did. It was yeah. tense in there though, wasn't it? It was incredibly tense, yeah. Good TV. I'd say it's such a great product. Tell us about it. Thank you. Um, well, Fly Baby is a pop up sleep cover for um, all prams and strollers. But the same product is also a cover for airline bassinets. So we're really looking towards a, a sleep solution for parents that want to go out for a coffee, get um, do all those things that they did perhaps mm. before they had children. Well, just leave and their still have, the plane. Yeah, just leave them there. <laughs> Absolutely, just leave them there. <laughs> but, uh, but actually get them to sleep and stay in routine. It is amazing because we had to travel with uh, Henry when he was very small. Yeah. And it is just like, it, it's not every parent's worst nightmare. It is every passenger's yeah. worst <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> Because it's not just the baby mm. crying, but it is the, the bullet-like disapproving yeah. stares of every single you other person on the plane. You try not to make eye contact with but anyone on their hands. Mm. It's purgatory. So I reckon it's great. How did Thank you come you. up with the idea? You had a baby and it was crying on the plane or yeah, something? Yeah, my mum got diagnosed with a life-ending illness, so I oh. ended up flying from Sydney to London four times in just a few months with my five-year-old. And she was a good little traveller, but she just didn't sleep. It was purgatory. They put those... Um, here's an airline bassinet here. Um, they put them in the busiest parts of the plane, yeah. just below a TV, cabin lights, overhead reading lights, next to the toilet, major thoroughfare, oh. and it's so exciting. And they get overtired and these babies just get worse and worse and worse and worse. And um, I had a DIY fix, I'd take a double sheet and a big roll of masking tape and I'd try all sorts of things. <laughs> and I found myself the envy of other parents uh -huh. that didn't have the masking tape and I'd be doling it out, come on, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> and um, when all the dust settled, I was like, we've got to provide a real sleep solution. And, and yeah, so that's where it started to be born. I was playing with um, prototypes, knew it was a niche market and thought, my other pet hate is seeing parents hang um, wraps, um, coats, other heavy blankets that fly off in the wind, get wrapped up in the muddy wheels mm. of the stroller and also mm. provide, they make that safe place that the baby's supposed to be sleeping into a bit of a hot house. It's mm. not breathable, it gets really hot. It, it's kind of like leaving your baby in a hot car really. Is it so easy to use though? It's because so easy to use. How it works, am I? All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Even Joe could do it. Oh, no. we're going to test you, we're going to test you. Yeah. All right. I noticed that the pram is strategically placed right, right in front of you. Right in front of you, or you'll test you later. Okay. So it's got a, a nifty little bag on the back of the right. pram. Mm. You pop it out and on oh, it goes. Oh. So it goes from being very lightweight, very small. They've challenged me to put this on sitting down. Wow. That's oh, my God. And it just literally you can just jump up, Emma. Don't listen to them. Wow. We don't. <laughs> it's like a magic. transformer. There you go. Mm. And we've got How great big windows oh. so you can get your baby in and out. Oh. Super easy. Oh. Oh, no wonder Janine jumped at that. How does the bassinet, the, that's the bassinet over there? It's the same product. So, so that sits on, there's a sliding clip, easily detaches really super quickly. It's just like a... Wow. But you know, you, you're still going to have to put. Are you still going to have to put the baby, baby. in the bassinet thing yeah. in the plane? Yes. Yes. So, yeah, so there still. you are on the front row there with the baby in the bassinet. Yeah. But then you put that over it. Put is that, that the... over, and it blocks 97% um, of light and movement. It's 100% breathable, and if you're using it as your sun sleep cover on the stroller, mm. it's got a sun protection factor of 50 plus. Oh, oh wow. so, yeah. We've tried to think of everything. What about collapsing though? Because I used to end up in tears. What do you reckon, Joe? This is what I wanted to challenge. You've seen everyone fighting those beach shelters on. Yeah. on the beaches where can people, they, they tend to take where can over. people get it from um online on my website at the moment lots of stockists have been asking oh my god oh my yes. god See, well while well, joe does that i would well, oh, wow. tell you about this very generous <laughs> offer that emma has for our